Hi everyone, welcome back to Calico Critter World. So I am unveiling my diorama that I have created and this is the one I was looking at in my first video when I was talking to you about building the DIY Calico Critter house. I was looking over in this direction and this is the little town I have created and I wanted to share this with you and I want to also take you on the journey of decorating it as I have made some changes and we're going to talk about those. So here is the lovely little world of calico critters and I got some great trees this year. The ones in the background that you see there, those are from Target, the flock trees, and they were $3 each, I think. Let's see. We'll pick one up and see. I think they were $3 or $5 each. The price isn't on the bottom, I apologize. So they're three to five dollars at Target and you want to get them around Christmas time. That's when they're available, but they're so lifelike and the flocking is just fantastic. It just added to this wonderland scene. This is what I was talking about in my first video about creating dioramas with like themes, Christmas themes. This is what I wanted to accomplish here and why I love the Calico Critter so much. So let's go through the town a little bit here. I'm gonna show you what I have and then um, perhaps it'll spark some ideas if you're interested in making your own diorama or maybe you already have one and you've collected calico critters in their homes for a while and you just maybe need some ideas on how to decorate. So I'm gonna go through this step by step here. This, this I got at an antique shop, this North Pole light so you won't be able to find that anywhere but if you go to different swap meets and things like that you're you should be able to find some pretty cute stuff now this one i want to point out to you because this one this is part of the display of my diorama is very inexpensive and i highly recommend the sleigh is from dollar tree yes it's a dollar 25 and it's metal and you can put the bunnies in here. I had the sweet pea um, brother and sister in here. And then at Dollar Tree, they sell a package of these presents and you can load them in the sleigh. And it is just the most sweetest display. So if you have a diorama that's similar and you want to, or you have a Christmas one already and you want to add a little spice to it very inexpensively for $2.50, you can do so. Then I got this little tree at Target recently, and I just added this the other day. And let's see the price on the bottom. You see that $5. It's a threshold tree, and it's the perfect scale for the calico critters. As you can see, I'll put little sheep mother next to there. So it's perfect for like a town Christmas tree. And I loved it because it was really short and kind of fat <laughs> and it just the colors of um, the balls too I really liked instead of red I liked the blue and the pink so just very fair fairy tale ish esque I guess you could say all right and over here we have the popcorn cart which just had to come into my critter land and then you see the sheep and she is um, he's purchasing a little sucker there <laughs> from her look at him take a look at him it's so cute or her I have to look on the box I have not committed their names to memory you probably have so that is the Persian cat toddler and the Persian cat toddler came out of the package of three toddlers the chocolate bunny toddler, the squirrel toddler, and I think it's from like the school series. So cute. And then she's got her little cart back here with the lollipops on there. And then the popcorn cart, their little things. 
and then I put some of those roses there and that's actually the roses are from the chocolate rabbit couple and I didn't find that she could hold them very well so I just put them in her little basket there. I love the details of the popcorn cart. I need, do I need to say more? No, <laughs> just so cute. All right, so let's take you over here to what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you the boutique. Okay, so here's the boutique that I've been talking about in my earlier videos and my unboxings. This boutique, I made this boutique the same way I did the house. And I really loved how it came out. The little sign is from Dollar Tree and I took that gold pin, that gold Sharpie and wrote boutique in there. And the, the awning here on this one is one of those foam balls that I cut into quarters to give it that round look. And then I glued some felt on it and some ribbon just for that extra detail. And you see our lovely husky family here. The father has his popcorn and mother is ready to go into the boutique and buy some really cool clothes. So I redid the boutique. And let's see. So this is a large picture frame that I wanted to have a large picture, a open window for the boutique. That was very important part of it. And as you can see here, I have snow scenery and where I got this was from out of one, a pillow that I had. I just pulled the stuffing out of a Walmart pillow and voila, instant snow. And the cobblestone here is from Dollar Tree and it's only available during Christmas time and it's a part of the miniature series that they have. They have those little houses showed you on my first video those little mini houses that went with the Christmas tree diorama um, and what I did was I took them and they didn't lay flat on their own because they're made of rubber let me take you to the side here so you can get a close-up and I I glued it on the foam board okay and it kept, it keeps it flat and it's also, you know, I can take these up and move these around. I can add them together. And then I just put some ribbon, glued, hot glued ribbon on the side as the trim. And then I have the snow, snow bank there. All right, so let's take a look at the boutique. And as you know from my first video, all of my houses, boutiques, and bistros will all be open from the top not from the back or the side. And we'll just take a look in here. So I did the walls. I decided to do the walls in the brick, as you can see. And I did that because I wanted that old world Paris feel. And I went and got this beautiful paper, as you see here on the back. And that is the scrapbooking paper I got at Michael's Crafts. And I just glued it on with some tacky glue. I ran out and I, because I was going to do it on the floor too, but I ran out of the paper. So what I did was I just glued white paper down and then just put a strip of that in there. And it actually turned out really nice. So we're going to decorate this today. And I want you to, I wanted to show you how I'm decorating this. All right. So I did the unboxing with this set, so I'm going to put this in here. All right, so we got our little dress display. And then we have the mirror, which I'm thinking maybe we could put it, we'll, we'll set it there for right now. Might move that. Then we'll put our little clothing display in the window here. I think that looks quite nice. Very realistic. All right, and we're going to put this display in here as well. So let's move this around and see what looks better. Oh. 
I'm going to have to set all of this up, but for now. Okay, so let's move this around. And I was actually considering using this for the place where I put the cash register, but so we've got a very busy boutique so we're doing everything in here so I think I'm going to put this on the side like this and I think I'm going to put this display back here against the wall let's do that that gives us a little bit more room to pose some of the calico critters When they're in the store. So. Okay. And then we'll put, let's scoot this over just a little bit. And then we'll put the mirror in the corner here. That would be a great place for it. And then we've got the dress rack here and this display. Here, we'll scoot this a little bit closer to the window. Very good. And then I'm going to put this little table in, and this is still not really complete yet, but this will be the checkout, the part um, where the person is behind the counter doing the checkout. And for right now, we're just going to use the cash register that I made since I, the other one is on its way. So I think that is really cute. What do you think? Put, put down in the comment section what you think about the boutique. And we'll take a look at it through the window here. I think it came out really nice. And I love that wallpaper, don't you? I think that paper really, really just made it look, it made it look so much more real. So I'm really excited about that. And so she's gonna go into the boutique, be nice, and shop. Put her in here. And there she is. She's going in the boutique to take a look around. And so um, one of the missing, I need a few more calico critters to fill up my town. And I'm thinking about putting the Carmel dog mother in here. Or no, not the Carmel. Oh, I know. The chocolate rabbit. I think she's going to be the one behind the counter there because I think she is perfect for she's from the town series and I think she works really good in here because she's got that fancy um, little little head I don't know decor, decorative um, jewel thing on her head and I think she's perfect because she's from the town series so I think she'll be perfect as the person who will be the shopkeeper. Now this table is still kind of tall and I could I could cut it and make it a little bit shorter and I think I probably will unless I get something else um, to use. So I think I'm going to have to take the saw to that and make it a little bit smaller if that's what I'm going to use. But So we're not completely complete in here just of yet but we're getting there Get her in there and she's looking at all the beautiful dresses and enjoying the beautiful boutique as the husband waits patiently outside eating his popcorn watching his wife shop all right so i'm going to put the top on and the top is much like the other tops, it has the lights down on the bottom. And we gotta readjust our snow here. Our snow was kinda hanging over 
the buildings for winter time. Makes it look kind of realistic there. Got our little street light. We've got father waiting outside with his little popcorn and we've got mother husky in there shopping around at the beautiful store. And we've got the chocolate rabbit there behind the desk waiting for her to check her out and send her home with all of her beautiful goodies. And our setup of the boutique, it is always a work in progress and we'll continue to add things and you'll see those probably on upcoming videos.